Hey. Um, so here's the deal. Uh, um, so when you're tying, let's see if I can get it back a little bit. All right, when you're tying, so when you first start, you want to go boom, boom, then boom, and then see how that goes, right? And then kind of snug it up a little bit, right? Okay? Okay. That didn't hold it. That's all right. All right. So just start turning it, right? And then it, 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 should, it should take. Right, and then and you kind of want the string to go this way, all right, and then you kind of roll over on yourself, right, and and you kind of trap the string underneath these initial wraps, and then and then you have it, and then you kind of snug it up this way snug it up all right all right and then okay and then you trap the, the guide okay now what I like to do with this trap string, Let's just trim it a little bit because I, I like to have enough to kind of pull on it, but not too much to get in the way. All right. You know, you have, you bought this Texas Bermuda seats in there. And what? Huh? And what? Well, I mean, I don't know if you should just spray it over there outside the front lawn. Since we got all this rain. Yeah, go spread it. Huh? Go spread it. All right. All the grass? Yeah. Then you take this, put it up along the back, right? And boom. About five times, right? Okay. All right, put your finger on top. Get your scissors, and you're just trying to trap the thread so it doesn't come unravel and you keep tension on it. And then you put it through this little hoop.
Okay. Then you can tighten it, right? Now, see, I kind of made it ugly right there. I put a little <laughs> amount of time mark my my uh, my my eyelets with the uh, with the uh, shark. Okay. All right. And you trim. So you pull it tight. Uh, Not, the for them. Okay. My, my wife's a chicken maiden. Some people say burn it. But, uh, um, That's good. All right, so now you got it to, to, to finish it. All right, so it's not the prettiest wrap, but it's functional. It's not coming apart. All right, thanks. How y'all doing? So here is the rod, okay? So here's the hook keeper. My first rod that I've put together. And I got some of this stuff on it right now. It's kind of a pre-wrap kind of thing for color. Now I tried to, I mean, my, my stuff's not like perfectly symmetrical. That, that one kind of is. That's the feral wrap. And they're, those are kind of symmetrical. And uh, those are pretty symmetrical. That's symmetrical. And that's a feral wrap. And there's those are symmetrical. And that's symmetrical. And, oh, this, this this one's. I mean, it's wrapped. I think it's just a little, little bumpy. But there it is. There is my rod. So far. I'm going to go get some uh, alcohol to put on the, uh, in the epoxy. That's what someone recommended to keep, uh, keep away bubbles. But someone said that this would be these alcohol, alcohol burners. They don't really do good. So anyhow, so anyhow, uh, this is my first build. And I'm liking it so far. I mean, it's not bad for my first build. Um, the next go around, see, like, like that, that, I should make this one shorter than this feral wrap. But now I know, you know. Um, anyhow. Um, but, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with it. There it is. I'm pleased with it. I got all the tools. Uh, th this really helps out keeping the tension because you can, but but if you flip it over there on the other side, it's not any good because you got to reach through and you got to tighten these little knobs to adjust the tension on the thread. And these are really awesome for tensioning the thread. Um, and you can you need to loosen it too. So um, you got to maintain tension on it all the time. The moment you let up just doesn't do well but so I'm just gonna let this stuff dry and then be done with it all right y'all have a good day